Hey everybody, welcome to this rapid fire tutorial where the subject is adding a user to a Tableau site, updating that user, and then removing that user. If you just love the sound of my voice and want to know a lot more information on this topic, uh, tune in for the detailed version of this video, which will release a couple days after publishing this one. And it's just a little bit more in depth. It also gives you perhaps some more practical use cases um, of this, which would be like maybe you have a CSV file with a bunch of users uh, listed in it and you want to programmatically add all of those users to your server or you want to loop through existing users on your server and update all of them in bulk. So uh, that more detailed video really gets into the, the weeds on all of that. Whereas in this rapid fire one, we're going to try to get you in, get you out in about five minutes. So we're not going to dive in with as much explanation and as, uh, as complex of examples. So for starters, taking a look at the REST API reference, this is uh, kind of what makes all of this possible. The three endpoints we're going to be using in this tutorial are add user to site, update user, and remove user from site. And you will notice that the names that you see here are going to be the same as the names that you see as the methods implemented in the Tableau API lib library which is the library we'll use in this tutorial. And um, that's kind of by design so that you could just use these endpoints to kind of figure out how you need to use the library to make things happen. So for example, if you're adding a user to a site, you're gonna be able to read some documentation about what this endpoint allows you to do and some of the limitations that there might uh, be existing here, such as Tableau Online requiring a username to be an email address so with that said, let's hop into the code and get rolling. So I'm going to skip over the discussion of how you configure your Tableau server because that's all been discussed already in the getting started tutorial video, which is linked in, the, in this video's description. So let's skip right to the part where we have a connection and let's sign in. So we're authenticated into the Tableau Online site. And uh, I'm gonna run this little function just to kind of show off the querying section of the Tableau API lib library, which, um, which takes the, it uses the endpoints available from the Tableau server REST API reference, but then packages the data that you get back into a pandas data frame as seen here, which is extremely useful. If you work with data in Python at all, you're probably already familiar with pandas. So it's a really nice trick to have up your sleeve. Now we can see that I was all by myself up there. It's pretty lonely. So let's try to add a user. And um, as we had just pointed out with the um, add user to site endpoint, you have to make the username and email address if you're on Tableau online. So we can see that if I just try to add a user named Casey, for example, uh, the error I'm going to get from the server is going to say this is a bad request. And while this might not be the most informative error ever, if we went out to the REST API reference, we would see why I'm getting this error. You know, it's, uh, this needs to be an email address. So let's try this again, following the rules, and we'll see that the success goes through, or that the uh, request goes through successfully. Um, now, something that you'll often want to do is when you create a user, you might want to do something with that user ID. Uh, if you're on Tableau server, you might want to um, immediately turn around and use that ID to update the user and add an email address, something like that. Maybe add that user to certain groups, which we'll cover in other tutorials. In this case, I'm just going to store that new user's ID into this new user ID variable so that I can update them in this next step. So updating can be as easy as what we see here. Um, I'm just going to update the user's role because if we went out here to the documentation and read a little bit about updating a user, we would notice that the only thing that you can get away with on Tableau Online in terms of updating a user is updating their site role. So I'm going to update this person's site role from viewer to explorer and go ahead and run that. We can see that that's successful. In fact, if I hop out here to Tableau Online and I refresh my site users, we'll see that I do have that new user they are on my site and they do now have the site role of Explorer. So that's great that they're there, but now we want a little peace and quiet. So we're gonna boot them out of the server 
uh, or out of the on Tableau online site. So that's really simple. All we have to do is call the remove user from site method and then pass in the ID of the user that we want to remove, which in this case is our new user ID. And let's do that and say goodbye to that user. If we come back out here, we can see that it is back to just being me. So with that, I just want to say thanks for tuning in. Uh, check out the more detailed version of this if you're interested. Um, that'll be published in a couple of days after publishing this one. Uh, we'll link to it in the description of this video. And also check out the Tableau Developer Program. If you want a free Tableau Online dev site like I'm playing with here, you can get one by joining the Tableau Developer Program. And you'll also benefit from having the community out there uh, where people are asking questions, getting those questions answered. So we hope to see you out there and hope to see you in future tutorial videos.